Hi, I'm Corey, the Serve Vlog Kid. Today we are looking at oven pages. So that's correct, Corey. Today we're going to be looking at orphan pages and why they're important, but more importantly, how to identify them. So orphan pages are basically pages on your website that have no internal links. And the reason that these are important to find and identify is because if Googlebot can't crawl them and find links on your site, pretty much they're not going to be in the index. If Google can't crawl them, they can't index them. Simple as. There's plenty of ways to find orphan pages. Uh, in this video, we're going to show you an example using Screaming Frog, so you can use Screaming Frog. SEM Rush has a fe feature if you pay for SEM Rush. I believe Ahrefs has, has a similar feature. You can look in your analytics; it's not as reliable because you're still relying on pages getting traffic. Um, you can look in your server logs, but again, you need to hope Google are hitting these pages to be able to find them. You can look in your sitemaps, and hopefully, um, the links are automatically being populated in your sitemaps. But again, you're relying on devs adding the pages into sitemaps correctly. Or well, finally, the other way you find them is to speak to your dev team and ask for a full list of every page they expect to be on the website, and then go and crawl it, and then just do a simple VLOOKUP comparing the two. But like I said, today we're going to be looking at Screaming Frog and how to use that tool and that tool alone to find orphan pages. So yeah, I'm going to now show you how to use Screaming Frog to actually find orphan pages on your website. Like I just said, there are other ways of doing this. You can do it manually looking in server logs, but I think this is probably the most accurate way, or at least the most accurate way, including speaking with developers. Developers, if you ask them for a list of pages, could correctly give you every single page, but they still might miss some. So how I do like to do is I, I like to do both methods, speak to developer, get them to give you a list of pages, and also do it this way, and then compare the two, because then you should cover most angles. So let's get into Screaming Frog. We do need to make some changes into the configuration. Spider, you want it to crawl XML sitemaps. Um, you can do it auto discover via robots file, but uh, you might as well just put it in manually. So there's our sitemap. And then what you want to do is set, uh, hit start, crawl, and it'll go off and crawl. Obviously, I've done that because I didn't want to sit here for a few minutes and just watch Screaming Frog go. Once you're done, simply go to reports, orphan pages, and then you want to say call it whatever you want and save it to where you want. We're going to save it to desktop. That's it done. And then open the report. Here is a list of every single orphan page on the site. As you can see, I made two orphan pages because um, these are all sitemaps where you, should, you can't expect them to be orphan because they are just the sitemaps. But um, I wanted to show some real pages in here. So yeah, if you go onto the website, they are just there's nothing on them. Um, it's, I'll leave them up there for a few weeks. It's just orphan page and orphan page dash two. But they will be getting deleted because they are a waste time. But yeah, that's it. That's as simple as it is. So yeah, there's no reason for you not to go do this. This works on small websites and large websites. Obviously, the larger website is, it takes longer for Screen Frog to call it. But yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching that on how to use Screen Frog to find orphan page on your website hope you found it useful highly recommend you go and do it um yeah it's super important like i said at the beginning of this video for finding pages that google might not be finding and then how you deal with them is up to you whether you decide to add more internal links to them or whether you remove them but once you know the data you can then make an action towards solving it thanks for watching uh you can follow us on youtube uh we're on page rocks uh, you can subscribe to us on Twitter. I'm on Page Rocks. He's at Serverlog Kid. Um, we're on Facebook. So yeah, feel away. If you've got any questions you want answering, fire them in. And the Serverlog Kid will ask them, and we'll get cracking.